Hey, and welcome to a pick a card. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle channel. For those of you who are just finding my videos, welcome, welcome. And won't you please consider joining our happy family and consider subscribing? This pick a card is going to be all about does your person think about you? Whoever pops into your mind first, do they think about you? Or do you have a person who's completely always stuck on your mind that you can't get out of your head for the life of you? If so, then this reading is for you. We're going to find out if they think about you, how often they think about you, if it's a lot or if it's a little bit. And then we're going to try and find out maybe a little bit about what their thoughts are or along the lines of what their thoughts might be. So for your choices today, we have Attica Mite. We have a seashell and some citrine. We also have Credite. And then we have Aqua Angel Quartz for your choices. So this would be pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. If you need any extra time, please feel free to go ahead and pause the video while I'm speaking. Know that timestamps will be down below in the description box for your convenience so that you can jump to your um, reading of your choice and also in the first comment for my mobile user so that you can just click on the number for whichever one you chose. Also, if you are interested in any of these decks that I am using tonight with these cards and you like them, I will have some affiliate links down below for you to check them out to see what they are and maybe if you'd like to purchase them, how much they actually are. So without further ado, we're going to jump in with our Attica Mite. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose Attica Mite, let's see what we get for your answer. These cards are going to determine your yes or no answer. If I do not get a clear enough answer from these cards, then I have another deck on standby to do a yes or no question for you to get a definitive answer. And then the rest of the Oracle cards will be a look behind that answer and also a look into their thoughts and their thought process, hopefully. Alrighty, so let's jump right in and see what we get. For if your person thinks about you, we have ask for help from others and we have no. So this person technically doesn't think about you and I'm sorry to, if that's not the answer that you wanted, we're gonna find out why. So with the ask for help from others card, I feel like you need some time to heal from this um, person's relationship to you. And I feel like that they've put you out of their mind for now, temporarily, is what I get from this. And I feel like they also need some space and time to heal from this. Because I feel like it was drawn back to a relationship between you two. So let's get some thought process going. So we have the faithful. Have faith. So with this, I feel like this person may have lost a little bit of faith in the relationship between you two. Because they didn't trust enough or there wasn't enough trust between the two of you, is what I get. And then we have the meaningful. Mean what you say and do, and say what, or excuse me, and say and do what holds meaning for you. So basically, I feel like because of the lack of trust between this relationship with you guys, I feel like they didn't believe half, like, it was like believe half of what you see and half of what you hear basically so they didn't really have a whole lot of faith in you and a whole lot of relation like faith in the relationship between you two as well because they didn't trust every everything that you were saying and anything that you were showing them so i feel like they felt a little empty in this connection because this book has like no writing in it and it's empty and i get an empty feeling with this so i feel like this relationship didn't really have a whole lot of depth for them and that might be why and I feel like maybe it didn't hold enough strong meaning as well for some of the things that you thought you might have had together. And I know some of this can sound a little bit harsh, but I am doing my best to try and help you through this. So I have some extra messages to also help you heal from this as well. So let's get to those. We have focus upon divine and perfect health. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for <clears throat> for continuously continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. So with this, I feel like with taking this time apart and trying to focus on yourself, I feel like there's going to be something better for you out there and that you don't need to worry about this person any longer. 
and that you need to try and focus on putting them out of your mind so that you're not dwelling on the relationship and also on this person. We have lean on God and the angels for support. Dear God and angels, I give this, whatever your situation is, and <clears throat> I give you this situation now and completely. I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. So with this, I feel like asking your angels for help and guidance and as well as your friends to help take your mind off of this and this relationship and this person is most needed at this time. So I do hope that this answer is going to help you though. Let's see some shadow aspects to this and see what may be lurking behind it. So we have movement. I feel like you two had drifted apart because I really feel like the movement is more of a drift feeling because I'm really attracted to the water and like the flow of it. And then the fact that the horse is moving, I feel like there's a drift and a parting between you two that caused this. And then we have Grove. I feel like one or both of you in this relationship relationship felt more alone than the other because they felt that the other person wasn't there for them, whether it's you not being there for them or them not being there for you. However, this resonates with you is what the answer is. And you will, you're the only one that would know that whether this person wasn't there for you or you weren't there for them enough to have that faith and that trust to keep you two from drifting apart. And then we have playful. So with this, I felt like somebody was playing more games than being serious about this relationship and that I feel like it's for the greatest and highest good that you guys actually did split because who wants to be toyed with? Like, seriously? You deserve better than to be toyed with and vice versa. But I'm pretty sure that it's you that got toyed with and played with and had your heart and feelings hurt because you... I sense a very deep sadness from this and I feel like really hurt and aggravated from it, from this, because this person really annoyed the crap out of you by doing this to you. And I also feel like they ghosted you. So you're kind of wondering, do they think about you? And if they do, what are their thoughts? So I feel like that's kind of why you were drawn to this reading. I feel like this person was very selfish as well. And these are all channeled messages that I'm getting, by the way. I feel like this person was very, very selfish and very just self-centered and not giving. And I feel like this person kind of wasn't there for you. And like there wasn't enough faith and trust between the two of you because I feel like this person toyed with you too much in order for there to be anything. And I feel like that's why there was such an emptiness and why it was so easy for them to walk away from your relationship and why they don't think about you, even though you're stuck thinking about them and feeling like you're left holding the bag here which is not fair to you. You deserve better than that. So let's see what healing messages we can give you. I am free to be me. So know that you are freed up for something better and that this was definitely needed to happen. It says, I see myself as being free. I am free in my mind. I am free in my body. I am free in my life. So if you have to take some time to pause this and take a screenshot of it so that you can use this as an affirmation to help free you from this person and to help focus your mind someplace else and on yourself as well so that you can feel free as much as you need to and so that you can finally move forward. Alrighty. I am welcomed with joy wherever I am. People love working and being with me. As I express my thoughts, feelings, and ideas, they are welcomed and easily comprehended by others. So know that it's okay to express yourself to your friends and lean on them to talk to, and especially as a support system, because I feel like that's most needed for you right now. I love and accept myself. Look in the mirror and say I love and accept myself exactly as I am. When I accept all of myself, I am whole and healed. So with this, I feel like you know you deserve better, but you have to convince yourself of that because I feel like right now that you feel like very unlovable, even though you are very lovable. And I'm like, I know what I want to say, but I'm, I'm having trouble articulating it because I kind of lost it when I started reading. <laughs> This is all about self-acceptance. Just because this person ditched you and ghosted you doesn't mean you aren't worthy of love because you are. 
they're just not worthy of your time and your sweetness and your and your love, in my opinion. I feel like you deserve better and that there will be better coming in shortly for you. So these are your messages. I do hope that this helped. Know that I love you and I will see you next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the citrine and the seashell, I'll pull these up so you can see exactly what these look like. This is just really pretty. I like the spiral in it. And then the citrine crystal looks like this. Just a hint of yellow. So you can see that. So these cards are going to get some clarity on if this person thinks about you. A little bit of the shadow side behind their thoughts and reasons. And a little bit more detail that you might not have seen. Some extra messages to help you with this and to help heal from this if it's not exactly how you wanted it to go. And also, these will be the thoughts and reason behind the answer. And these will give us a definitive yes or no. If these do not give us a definitive yes or no, I do have a backup deck to do a yes or no question with some playing cards. So let's dive right in and see what we get here. We have yes. This person definitely thinks about you. And then we have choose a new direction. So with this, I feel like this is going to give you some clarity and finally kind of open your mind as to what's been going on and why you keep thinking about this person because they keep thinking about you because I feel like there's a basic telepathic communication or connection between you two and I feel like you guys are basically if you're not twins you're definitely strong soulmates and you have a telepathic communication because I'm extremely drawn to her crown chakra and the fact that she's balancing two orbs here one is you one is them and I feel like you guys are divinely connected and telepathically connected. And I feel like your higher selves also communicate to one another and that your angels also help facilitate this, especially in dream time. So if that makes sense, this message is definitely for you and you've come to the right place. Remember to always take whatever resonates. If it does not, please leave it on the floor for somebody else. Let's get some um, insight into their thoughts process and what's going on so we have the careful take good care of yourself i feel like this is giving you peace of mind and that they have peace of mind and they like to relax and think about you in their spare time because i feel like they miss you and like they have a longing for you as well and i feel like they want to send you some messages soon because i'm really attracted to the birds then we have the lazy fool. Have confidence. I feel like this person is a little bit lazy as to why they haven't reached out yet. Because they're debating in their mind, do I really want to? Can I just wait for them? They're just basically lazy. And they need a little bit of motivation. Hopefully that will happen soon. And I'm pretty sure that spirit's going to motivate them because I just heard that their spirit's going to motivate them pretty soon. So... Know that you can expect some messages soon to come from them because they've been thinking about you and I feel like they're also going to open up and tell you exactly how they've been feeling and thinking about you and it'll be a giant confirmation for you from them. So let's get some extra messages into this and see what's going on behind the scenes. We have lust. Ooh, this person be thinking some naughty thoughts? Mm-mm. That is you or both of you. I feel like this connection is kind of weird. Like one of you starts thinking really lusty thoughts and then the other one starts getting a ping. And they're like, you basically, if they start thinking lust, lustful thoughts, then you get like kind of them popping up in your mind and you're just like, why am I thinking about them all of a sudden? Even though you were just doing something else like work, like doing something at work or eating or just something random. And then all of a sudden they popped in your mind. It's because they're having these lustful thoughts. And that it's causing like this storm of emotion in them and it's stirring up a lot of um, feelings inside them because we have chaos. But I'm really attracted to the storm causing a stir of emotions in them and causing their feelings to stir. And then we have the fledgling. I feel like they sit there and they also daydream about you quite a lot as well. And they imagine what, like, what things would be like and how they would talk to you and have conversations with you in their mind. Alrighty. 
So I feel like that's also a way for them to communicate with you as well. Like if you start having thoughts, it might answer some of your questions when you're thinking about them if they pop in your head randomly as well, which might make a little bit of sense, but that's what I'm getting. So let's see what we get from the Archangel Michael cards. We have be gentle with yourself. Archangel Michael, please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing <clears throat> love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I do or that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. So with this, I feel like you're able to finally relax and be a little bit more gentle on yourself and know that you're not going stir crazy, that this person actually does really think about you and that this is for a reason as to why you keep having them pop up in your mind. We have it's time to leave the, this unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. So with this, I feel like not focusing so much so hard is what's called for at this time and to finally relax and put your mind at ease and have trust and faith in the divine for them helping motivate this person to finally reach out to you and get off their lazy butts in order to reach out. Alrighty. So let's get some extra healing messages for you and some extra possible guidance. We have, I accept all that I have created for myself. I am a divine magnificent expression of life and I deserve the very best. I accept miracles. I accept healing. I accept wholeness. And most of all, I accept myself. Know that you are truly worthy of this love that's coming in for you and that you are very deserving of love no matter what and no matter what anyone else says you deserve love and also I feel like being a little bit more gentle towards yourself and accepting yourself and having some more confidence in yourself is most needed as well. I am connected with a higher power. The wisdom and intelligence of the universe is mine <clears throat> excuse me is mine to use. I trust in life to support me. So trust the universe to do what it needs to do and to help you and help this person guide them back to you. All right. I treat myself with unconditional love, even though it may take time for this person to come. Once you take your mind off it, the time will go a lot faster for you. So I treat myself with unconditional love breeds. I am precious or excuse me. I am a precious being loved by the universe. As I increase the love I have for myself, so too does the universe. So love yourself as much as you would love somebody else. And then that love will be returned to you tenfold is what I hear with that. So, cause basically how are you going to love somebody else if you can't love yourself is what I just heard. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that this helped and I will see you next video. Alrighty. So for my loves who chose the creed, I, Let's see what we get for you. These messages right here, or cards, excuse me, right here are going to give us the yes or no answer. If it does not give me a definitive yes or no, I do have a backup deck to do a yes or no pull. These over here are some extra messages for you, as well as these for any healing or any forward insight. These are some shadow aspects that might be kind of like lurking around, possibly that we aren't unaware of or that spirit and the universe are helping us with. And then these over here are also a look at the person's thoughts and what they possibly are thinking about you or not thinking and why. So we have look for a sign and then we have recovery. So with this, I feel like you've been br racking your brain and racking your brain trying to figure out, does this person really, really think about me? Why do I keep having them in my mind? And it kind of debil debilitates you a little bit and keeps you from focusing on yourself and kind of recovering and healing yourself and getting enough energy and enough sleep because I feel like it keeps you up at night. So let's get you a definitive answer of yes or no with the yes or no poll. So these are just regular playing cards. I'm going to do a three card poll. Now for yes, it's going to be red. So if there's more red than black, then the answer is yes. If there's more black, then obviously the answer is no. So 
let's see what we get for a yes or no answer. Does this person think about you? And one more time. No, this person does not think about you. Why? Because we have more black than we have red. So let's figure out their thought process and get to the bottom of why these people do not think about you and why they might be possibly on your mind so much to help give you some peace of mind so that you can get some extra rest and finally recover all that wasted energy upon this person. So we have the drunken fool sober up. So with this, I feel like they just kind of like to be inebriated. Just going to put that out there. They just, they don't want to be sober enough or like serious enough basically in order to stick around and actually put meaning into this relationship or any kind of logical thought into anything. I feel like they just want to just goof off and that's it and just party all the time so that they don't have to think about the uh, serious things in life and take responsibilities for their actions. So we have the recluse fool. Step away from the world and seek solitude. So I feel like for you, the best bet for you is to withdraw from this person and to get away from their toxicity because I feel like if they are inebriated a lot of the time, that is a toxic substance. Basically, it's an addiction and it's also... Like it lowers your vibration and causes some negativity and it can also cause them to say some things that they don't actually really mean, or it can actually cause them to say some things that they do mean that they really haven't said to you while they were sober. And it can cause a lot more pain than good. And it can also really wreak havoc on your emotions. So let's see what the shadow aspects of this is. We have rigid. So with this, I feel like the reason behind this and being this way for that is so that they can put up a wall so that they don't have to deal with what they most need to deal with. And then we have fulfillment. It's blocking you from f having a fulfilling relationship with this person. And it's also stressing you out to the point where you really need to take and walk away and take that time for yourself and let them figure out their own problems and then maybe come back to you at once, at, like after a time and when they've sobered up finally. And are able to finally face their problems or issues and deal with the real world. And then we have message. So with this, I feel like when you step away from them, I feel like you'll hear from them shortly after and them apologizing to you as well, because I feel like they'll have actually, you know, taken a moment to slow down and think, oh dear, I really screwed up. I need to go and talk to this person and apologize for my actions is what I get with this. So let's see what we have to hear from Archangel Michael about this. We have the person you're asking about is trustworthy. Thank you for helping me have faith so I can open my heart wider in my relationships. I am grateful for your protection, ensuring that only trustworthy people are in my life. So I feel like he's helping you to cut this person actually out of your life because you need to have more trust and faith in yourself instead of this person, because I feel like they aren't as trustworthy as you think they are and that you are the more trustworthy one. But I feel like he's basically helping you to cut this out so that you no longer have to deal with their toxicity and any negativity. All right. So it's kind of like opposite of exactly what the card says, because that's, I read intuitively and that's exactly what I got from it. So we have energy healing work. Thank you for sending healing energy to me, through me, for my own blessings, and for the, all those around me. Thank you for connecting me to loving and high integrity healers and teachers of energy healing modalities. So with this, I feel like when you go within, it'll help you to regain the strength and peace of mind that you most need to help you get that rest 
instead of having sleepless nights worrying about this person and what's going on with them and actually let you take a break and step back from that because I feel like the more you worry about this person the more it's going to absorb your energy and the more it's going to drain you and it's going to be a lot harder for you to recover from this so let's get some extra healing messages for you we have I am open to receptivity I believe in myself I say affirmations that reflect what I already or excuse me what I really deserve so know that you already have these things and try and have that mindset so that you can have be open to receiving the healing that you actually really need and the energy back to you once you've disconnected from this person we have I follow my inner wisdom I am at peace with my own being I love myself and trust that I am making the right choices know that you're making the right decision to step away from this person and to let them deal with their own inner demons and actually finally come to reality and come to you for once and to apologize to you it's mo it's what's most needed and it's the lesson that they need to actually really learn right now is what I hear I am a harmonious being everything I do say or think is in harmony with the truth there is perfect and continuous right action in my life and my affairs so trust the actions that you're taking right now are the right actions by walking away and clearing out any old negative um, thoughts or like any negative residue or feelings from this and know that you're making the right choice in order to do this and that you will be that much stronger for making this right choice so these are your messages I do hope that this helps if you need any extra help please let me know down below and I can try and do the best that I can to answer you and to help you out know that I love you and I will see you next video have a blessed one alrighty so for my loves who chose the aqua aura quartz let's see what we get these cards will give us the yes or no answer if this person thinks about you some extra healing guidance along with these the some sha ugh, some shadow aspects to see what may be lying underneath or behind the situation to bring that to light some of their thoughts and also the reason why they may be thinking about you if we cannot get a definitive yes or no from these two cards right here I also have a backup deck to do a yes or no poll just in case alrighty so we have a year from now and unlikely so this is a no for me I really feel a big no and that I think that they will look back on this a year from now and realize that they've made a mistake in kind of walking away from you and wasting and burning a bridge between you two and I feel like they are definitely going to be reaping whatever they have sown with you by walking away and realizing that it was a very 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 large mistake and that they will definitely regret this is what I hear I hate to say it like that but I really feel like they're making a big mistake by walking away and burning this bridge with between you two whether this is a relationship or a friendship or a family member I really feel like they've made a very very huge mistake by burning this bridge and walking away from you even though they may not think of you I feel like it's a very selfish reason and I feel like they're a very selfish individual and that all they care about is me 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 and that and then that means there's no room for anything else and I feel like you worry about this person a great deal and wonder if they are capable of thinking about anything other than just themselves so let's get some extra um, insight into what their thoughts process might be and what's behind this we have the force fool ultra power comes from spirit I feel like you've been hanging on to hope for a long time with this person but I feel like you're slowly giving up and losing your grip and getting carried away with the current is what I feel from this because I feel like he's hanging on for dear life but he's not being able to hold his grip for very much longer because I feel like this current in the water is way too strong for him and that's how I feel like it's feeling for you right now the painful face your pain I feel like this person walked away because they have a lot of anger and resentment about a lot of issues that are deep-seated and they may not all have to do with you but I feel like they're taking it out on you in a very very unfair way and I feel like 
it's causing you more pain than good when you think about them and worry about them and try to assert yourself into their life where you have no business of being anymore in in their t in their mind they feel like you have no business being there anymore so that's why they've cut you off and walked away and tried to burn this bridge between the two of you by pissing you off enough to push you away i feel like it's most needed for you to say you know what fuck it i'm done wash your hands of it walk away you deserve better you know you deserve better the energy from this actually really aggravates me and it makes me really like that's when I get like this, I feel like I'm rooting for the underdog. That's my mentality. That's my mama bearness coming out because I care for you guys and I feel like you guys deserve better. And I feel like you need to know that. So let's get some shadow aspects. We have the moon. There's a lot that you don't know about because this person has kept it from you. They've kept a lot of hidden secrets and they've just, they've, they've kept so much from you. And there's so much you don't know and you don't understand. And it's also driving you nuts that you don't know what's going on with this person and why. Because you don't have an answer so that you don't have closure. I feel like they've told a lot of lies to you and been very deceitful with you. And I feel like they are very negative and that they've talked a lot of crap about you to other people and made you look in a very negative light to others. And I feel like that's not fair to you just so that they could burn that bridge even more just to walk away so that they could cut you off and have everybody else kind of cut you off too. Don't let this person do that to you. You're better than that. You're not what they say. Loyalty. They have loyalty only to themselves. And this card proves it right here. At least that's what it feels like to me. But what I feel like you need to do is have self-loyalty to yourself as well. Just like they have loyalty only to themselves, have it for yourself. Give yourself that much respect and dignity and walk away. Let them learn their lesson the hard way. All right? Because this is what's most needed right now. And I feel like there is going to be one major rude awakening a year from now. If there isn't, it's going to be within the next, within 2019. I feel like there's going to be a very rude awakening for this person and it's going just like that and it's just going to teach them that lesson and they're going to come crying back to you and that's when you need to stay on your ground you need to stay loyal and true to yourself and be like you know what you burnt that bridge you learn your lesson you made your bed now go sleep in it just saying so let's get you some extra healing guidance from archangel michael we have this is your life's purpose archangel michael you know that <clears throat> the details of my divine life purpose and I ask and I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career so with this I feel like taking your the yourself away from this person and focusing on yourself and making your world all about you is what's most needed and that that is part of your life's purpose so that you can move forward and have success in your life right now because I feel like you are needed elsewhere and that it's part of your life's divine purpose to be that else that place elsewhere alrighty so you gotta let this person go it says use your imagination and you'll see the answer <clears throat> and you'll see the answer sorry dear God thank you for granting me the wisdom and the creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways i am grateful and gracefully or i gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help with this situation whatever the current situation is that you're going through right now open up to god and source and the universe or whatever it is that you believe in and accept that they're there to help you and ask for their help is what this card's asking you to do so let's get you some extra affirmation guidance and some extra love because we I love you guys. I really do. I feel like you guys deserve the best and nothing but. I deserve good in my life. Yes, you really do. I wholeheartedly believe that you really deserve better in life. I am willing to go beyond. <clears throat> I am willing to go beyond my own limitations. I am wonderful and I deserve and accept all the good that life has to offer yes you do know that believe that hear it take a screenshot of it so that you can recite this every day as a lifelong affirmation to help uplift yourself 
and know that you do that you deserve good in life. I am in the right place. Wherever I go and whomever, whomever I meet, I find my own love and my highest good waiting for me. See the love in this situation. Kiss it goodbye, heal it, and forgive them and let them go. And forgive yourself and know that you're headed in the right direction. And be able to be open to the next person and the next situation that comes into your life because you are meant to be there to help them heal and to help them move forward as well as them to help you heal and move forward as it is part of your divine life purpose. I bless my family with love. I love and accept each member of my wonderful family. They in turn love and adore me. All is well in my world. So keep that in mind. If this person is a family member of yours that you need to be able to release, I feel like wish them well, wish them love, wish them luck, but do the same for you as well and be gentle and forgive yourself for walking away and doing what's right for you because it's what's most needed. Alrighty? And know that it's okay to do this because they will learn their lesson the hard way and then they will come back and they will apologize and that is when you need to be loyal to yourself and stand strong and be like, I wish I could help you, but you have to learn this lesson yourself and let them complete the lesson. You can still be there for them and support them, but do not let them overrun you and do not let them take advantage of you. Because if you just let them back in so easily, it's not going to, it's going to defeat the purpose and it's not going to help them learn the lesson that they need to be um, learning right now and in that um, year from now. All right. It, the lessons are there for a reason. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. Know that I love you very much and that you deserve nothing but the best. I love you and have a blessed one. And I will see you next video.